it amazes me how soon so many Americans forget. They're so quick to be supportive of Donald Trump and his immigration ban. Yet not one of you would have lived in America. Not one of you would be a citizen had it not been for your ancestors. Not even the Native Americans are truly indigenous people. They came from other parts of the planet originally. So this ban is morally wrong. It's against the Lord thy God. It's against Jesus Christ. It's against Allah, Abraham, or whatever religion you may be. And for those of you who look at my videos and you, you give comment. You say nasty things to me. You don't even know the first thing of what it means to be a true patriot. You don't even realize that had it not been for patriots like me, there would not have been a country. I am the type of person who is like a George Washington. I'm not comparing myself to George Washington. But they spoke up. They spoke up. They put their lives on the line. What are you doing? Cutting me down? Hiding behind fake Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook accounts? Please. Or maybe you're a legitimate Facebook person. You just want to cut me down. But you don't know the first thing about America. You think you do. Your warped ideas do. But you don't. See, America is about all people. Every political person. Every, uh, from the whole political spectrum. We're one. You might want to know that. Doesn't matter if you're Muslim, Christian. I really don't care. So for those of you who want to cut me down, know this. I'm a humanitarian. But I'm also of Sicilian descent. I may be considered a liberal. But I am no pushover. And you want to know something about terrorism or counter-terrorism? You think you know so much. You don't know anything. You see, I, this dude that you think is a liberal pansy, trained in counterterrorism in 1986. So those of you who want to criticize me, do me a favor and shut up. You see, I know because I had the training. I've been trained in certain things that I won't talk about today. And I will defend this nation. Legally, peacefully, financially and ethically, from any traitorous men. And Donald Trump is a traitor. Yeah, I said it. And I know it's dangerous to say. And I just don't care. Donald Trump is no president of yours. He's nobody's president. You think if you're a right-wing person, or let's just say you're, I don't know, anti-abortion and deep woods conservative. This guy doesn't give a rat's claw about you. And guess what? Let them take away the Muslims. Let them take away the liberals. Let them take away them and those and the people you don't like. And the minute that Donald Trump decides to pretty much do martial law in America, if he went that far, to be clear, I'm not saying he will. He's, a, he's not a good person in his actions. But if he did decide to go that far, National Rifle Association members, conservatives and liberals, any of you who own firearms, I promise you Donald Trump would find you and confiscate your guns. I know you want to say that the Democrats want to stop you. Mark my words. If this goes down, it will be Donald Trump that comes after your guns. Oh, and if you're okay with bans on anybody, keep in mind, if they ban one, they can ban all. I'm ban all. If they come from me, 
you will be next. Because if they can come from me, you have no chance. It's time, conservatives and liberals, to put down your anger and wear the mantle of patriotism, of human humanity. It's time for every Republican in Congress to say no to Donald Trump. Come out and have some cojones. Have some fortitude. I'm keeping it clean just for the kiddies out there. Women, women up. Congress, make Donald, let's make Donald shut up. And Donald Trump, I will never, never just cower. Because I will legally, peacefully, ethically, which is something you're not, and financially rebuke you one trillion percent. Brothers and sisters, gun owners of America, I suggest you get behind this movement. Because if anything else goes down, he'll be coming for your guns. Oh, you didn't believe a lot of what I said. It's come to pass already. If he wants to take over this country, gun owners will be next.